so after that next one is the water cooled condenser now as in air cooled condenser air is used for the cooling medium in water cooled condenser water is used for the cooling medium okay water this this cooled condenser water cooled condenser are generally used for high plants okay high cold storages then plants so for huge capacity huge plants this water cooled condensers are used now in this water cooled condenser generally cooling water is used as a medium to cool the vapor refrigerant then there are two types to send the cooling water to the condenser okay there are two systems by which we can send the water to the condenser one system is that the waste water system okay waste water system means if your factory is if your plant is in the place where there is a plenty of water available okay there you can use this waste water system by which the water from the city main will be sent to the plant from there to the condenser and after usage of that it will again send to the uh, river or any sewage okay but second part is the recirculated water system recirculated water system if your plant is at that place where there is a so scarcity of water or there is no plenty of water available then recirculated water system can be used in which the water sent to the condenser can again be reused after usage of that okay so there are two types three types shell first is a shell and tube type condenser water cooled condenser now in the shell and tube type this is a cylindrical shell okay number of tubes are arranged in it in which the water will be flow cooling water will enter through this baffle plate is arranged between it and cooling water will be removed out from in this way okay vapor refrigerant will enter from the top okay as cooling water will moving through this tube vapor refrigerant will move over this okay that cooling water will absorb the heat of the vapor refrigerant vapor refrigerant will get cooled and converted into liquid refrigerant and that liquid refrigerant is then moved to the receiver okay so this is the small working simple working of the shell and tube type this is a shell and these are the tubes the vapor refrigerant will move over this and tubes are filled with the water they will absorb the heat from the vapor refrigerant vapor refrigerant will get cooled and then it is sent then liquid it is converted into liquid refrigerant and then it is sent to the receiver and one is the tube in tube type water cooled condenser now tube in tube means what see there are two tubes arranged in one another inside one another this black color is the one tube and red color is the one tube now from red color cooling water will flow and the vapor refrigerant from the compressor will move over the red tube okay which will flow uh, over the black tube okay vapor refrigerant will flow over the red tube means your vapor refrigerant see cooling water is flowing through this red tube and vapor refrigerant will flow over this okay from here over the red tube now cooling water will enter into this uh, cooling water is flowing through the tube vapor refrigerant is flowing over this so the cooling water will absorb the heat from the vapor refrigerant it will get cooled and at last it will become vap vapor refrigerant is converted into liquid refrigerant and at last it is sent to the receiver now when your cooling water is flowing in this direction and vapor refrigerant is flowing in this direction and then that system is known as a counter flow system okay counter flow system jevi cooling water tikrun yete vapor refrigerant tikrun yete opposite direction la flow hota tevi counter flow system okay and when this is a counter flow system and when both are traveling in the same direction okay cooling water are also traveling in this and vapor refrigerant also from this then it is known as a parallel flow system so these are the two shell and tube type water cooled condenser tube in tube type water cooled condenser so third one third one water cooled condenser is shell and coil type water cooled condenser now in this it consists of a shell in which there are two or more than two coils can be arranged in this okay in the shell through which the cooling water will flow and this is the vapor refrigerant which will enter from the top and the cooling water will flow through this uh, coil so it will absorb the heat heat transfer will takes place it will absorb the heat from the vapor refrigerant vapor refrigerant will get cooled it will converted into liquid it will get settled down and from there it is sent to the receiver 
मोस्टली दिस शेल एंड कॉल टू वॉटर कूल कंडेन्सर आर वर्टिकल और हॉरिजेंटल टाइप एंड इन दिस एज कॉइल इज इन साइड द शेल सो मैकेनिकली वी कैनॉट रिपेयर इट बट केमिकली वी कैन क्लीन इट ओके मैकेनिकली वी कांट क्लीन बाय रिमूविंग दैट बट केमिकली बाय एडिंग द केमिकल वी कैन क्लीन दिस ओके एंड जनरली हियर काउंटर फ्लो सिस्टम इज मोस्टली प्रेफर्ड बिकॉज इट इज मोस्टली इफिशियंट नेक्स्ट इज इवॉपरेटिव कंडेन्सर now in this evaporative condenser generally both air and water can be used as a condensing medium or cooling medium in this we only use in water cooled condenser water is will is used air cooled condenser air is used for cooling medium but in evaporative condenser both water and air can be used for the cooling medium see in this this is the spray not spray header okay these are the spray nozzles through which the cooling water will be sprayed these are the eliminators then there is a fan vapor refrigerant will enter from here okay and this is the water tank to which the from the sump the pump will uh, take the water and deliver to the spray nozzle now in this see vapor refrigerant will enter from the top spray nozzle will spray some of the water over this tubes okay due to which the heat transfer will takes place vapor refrigerant will get into converted into liquid refrigerant and it will go here okay and finally liquid refrigerant is sent to the receiver after that the fan this fan will draw the air from the bottom side towards the top of the condenser this fan will take the air from the bottom to the top now this air while passing if there is some of the water particles from this um, uh, water particles from over the surface of that coil okay that will also get evaporated due to this air and finally the water gets cooled so here mostly the conversion of vapor refrigerant into liquid refrigerant is done by the evaporation okay water this will get collected into the water tank at the bottom and this water tank the water from this again recirculated with the help of the pump into the spray head so this is the recirculated system okay recirculated water system in which the water is again used after uh, continuously and uh, what uh, here eliminators are used drift eliminators are used this eliminator generally uh, water if there are some water particles going through this air that will eliminate the water particles okay through the only air will be moved up and water particles if there are then they will again come down and they will get collected into the water tank so this is the evaporative condenser today we have seen about the condenser the types of condenser from air cooled condenser two types forced and natural convection air cooled condenser then water cooled condenser water cooled condenser in the shell and tube type tube in tube type shell and coil type and last one is the evaporative condenser if you have not understood any of this from the condenser concept please ask me in a comment i will definitely give you reply there thank you